Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS4. We'll call this a rest stop video, because I'm getting ready to put this game down for a while. Now look, after the first two hours of this game, I was ready to put this game down permanently. <laughs> like a wounded animal. But, you know what? I decided I was going to be patient. I decided I was going to play the prologue during the NFL playoffs. And then I decided once I got through the nasty parts of the game that I knew were really boring and, you know, time tedious, I was going to be able to get to the open world part of the game that was supposed to be the interesting part. And I'm glad I did. The game still, the game's pacing still bugs me to death. So, it, I'm... If you gave me a choice between something like Death Stranding, which I've already been playing for 20 hours, I've put aside Death Stranding to play this game. And I would kind of want to go back to playing Death Stranding, quite frankly. Because I've reached the point in this game where I'm saying, okay, now it's a bit of a grind and the game's going to start to force me to do some of the um, story missions in order to make progress or grind for about eight or nine more hours so I can get the features that I want, like the fast travel. So that's disappointing. A couple of things I should mention. Uh, so far in the game, in fact, we're, we're, you already saw my compendium. I'm in chapter two. Let me go back to where that was. I'm already gone 9% of the way through the story, which is, it doesn't really ma matter to me very much. Found a bunch of animals. I think I've, I found a gang really. That's right, I found a gang hideout already. Lemoyne Raiders. So there are a couple of gangs I haven't discovered yet. Yo, Driscoll's I fought early in the game. Challenges? Bandit Explorer. Yeah, I haven't found it. Have I really found treasure? Yeah, I found a treasure map. I haven't found any treasure yet, obviously. I played a bit of poker earlier. I, I'm actually okay at poker, but I'll probably play that later. I don't want to keep this game around just to play dominoes and poker. Craft tonics, huh? So pick six euro, eat, pick and eat four species of berry. Well, I found blackberries and raspberries, but I haven't found anything else, unfortunately. Horsemen break every breed. Kill five rabbits from horseback, which I did, actually. I've actually done it with a bow and arrow, too. Holla at your boy. Which doesn't scare my horse, obviously. Skip over three obstacles in 15 seconds. Well, I think I accidentally did that once, but I didn't save my game. Oh, well. Not terrible. You jump automatically over stuff. I'm not going to get too bit out of shape over that. Master Hunter, skin three deer, that's easy enough. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. You're gonna need special arrows for that, I wanna say. You're gonna have to sneak up on a rabbit and you're gonna have to use those special arrows that are made for small game, which will increase your chances of getting perfect pelt. Otherwise, you'll probably have to make do with good pelt <laughs> instead of perfect pelt. Shot three flying birds, I'll let your boy. Kill two different species of animal in the same dead I use? What? I'm not terribly interested in that, frankly. So basically, challenges have to be unlocked, so I'm not worried about it. If I'm not 100% this game, I guess I will, but I'm not terribly interested in that. Missions. Strangers. I've only met one stranger, apparently. Which surprised me. Maybe it's because I didn't save my game when I found the other strangers. Unknown event. Chance encounters. I have 25 chance encounters. Yeah, I ran across uh, saving people from, um, what is it? Saving people from fur traps. I saved a dude from a fur trap. And I didn't save the game, but I recorded some footage where I was able to get a free item from a town. I'll show you that town a bit later. So it pays to help people because they might, they might pay off later on in the game. Let's see, points of interest. You're not the first person to pass through this country and you won't be the last. Okay. Find just one of the many points of interest in this world. Okay, whatever. Accidentally found things like c uh, cigarette card sets. Dinosaur bones I haven't found yet. Rock carvings I haven't found yet. Uh, dream catcher. Oh. Yeah, those things. Digging up someone else's fortune. Okay, we might luck out by finding some treasure here with these treasure maps. Discover 50 animals. Some of them you'll find, some, I think I want to say about 20 of them you'll find pretty easily. The other ones you're going to have to go to special parts of the map. I have not discovered any fish. I've run over some fish accidentally on my horse. <laughs> and when you trample sturgeon, it doesn't count. <laughs> I'll show you where I find those. Fish, gangs, counter all six enemy gangs. 
you know, some of them you'll find out blocking certain bridges, things like that, so fair warning. I've discovered seven breeds of horses, so that's pretty good. I want to say they've mostly been near stables or near towns. Although I did a break, I did break at least two wild horses, and I made a video where I was able to bring at least one horse back with me, carrying the extra cargo along the way. So if I can get a caravan going, it's actually something I'm going to want to do in a future video. Collect 20 plants. I got 16 of them. Weapons. I'm not that aware. I, I'm not doing that much combat because I really don't like the combat in this game, quite frankly. Health stamina. Max out your health. Stamina and dead eye 27 times. So rest by the fireside. Okay. Be the best that you can be. Horse bonding. Reach the maximum bonding level of the horse you've owned. And I've done that. I got a horse. It's my favorite horse. It's my fastest horse yet. Unfortunately, it's my bonding level is as high as it's possibly going to be, so it can't go any faster right now. I have to get a better horse. Complete challenges, yeah, whatever. Shack, several shacks to be found across this land. I'm pretty sure I found more than five. The game's not giving me credit for finding them. Uh, track down and kill five legendary animals. I accidentally killed a legendary ram, but the game won't give me any credit for it. Find and interact with ranchers, ravers, and campaigners. Okay. Tire of bloodshed, there are table games. Bath. Take one bath. <laughs> Where? <laughs> maybe in a maybe in a hotel, maybe. Take in a show. Whatever. Theater. There's one I believe over by the uh, there's a show near Valentine. I think there might be another one. Uh, near Saint Denis, which I believe is near the it's near fake New Orleans. Houston got 65 points in the first half over L.A. The Lakers and Harden's kind of hurt right now. Recipes. Craft one recipe. Cooking recipe, a tonic, a type of ammunition, a hunting item, a horse care item, and a weapon. I think I've done all of that. I haven't crafted a weapon weapon. I've crafted ammo for weapons, sure. Any thug can rob a man, but a real thief plots bigger targets. To complete a coach robbery, a home robbery, a shop robbery, and a train robbery. I'm not going to play that way. Maybe later just for funsies, but not now. That's how some people want to play the game. I'm not, I'm not that interested in combat in this game. I've accidentally pulled out my gun and shot people. I'm not going to lie, but you know it is. On the map, this is our camp. Uh, there is no current way to fast travel around. I'm trying to build towards that. I'll show you what I mean later. Everything that's in gray or basically fogged out here are areas I have not discovered. This red area down here and this red dot up here are uh, basically lawmen. So if you wander into these wanted areas here in red, lawmen will hunt you down and they will chase you. So don't go over, don't cross this border if you can help it. Apparently later in the game, uh, this area down here leads you to the Mexican border, so that might be a thing. I want to say we're pretty far, we're pretty close to the western, um, the western frontier. I'll pull out the map because this game did include a map. I think we're pretty much near the border right along here. That's pretty much where the game, the, this is where the invisible wall is, right around here. I haven't invested, I haven't explored much around here, but I'll mention why in a second. This is the first shootout you see in the game here in Ewing Base. And you can come back and visit here, but it's cleaned out, it's hollowed out. There's nothing to really get to here. Um, I should mention that there are a few other shacks around here that don't seem to have very much in them. I've explored them in the past. You might get like one item. You might get a can of peas, a can of peaches, or maybe a tonic that inc permanently increases your experience or permanently increases your dead eye ability. So that's okay. There's a mine down here. I went inside the mine. There's nothing there. This is the Mill Sandy claim. Nothing down there. I should mention there are these dotted lines here that are known paths. You can you can forge your own path. And the waypoint markers aren't great. For instance, this is not a legitimate waypoint because these uh, thick black areas here, I call them dark water, they are cliffs. They are places where multiple contour lines meet. They are cliffs. You do not want to walk anywhere across them. But if you walk this way, you can uh, cross a more gentle path right here. So these, so wherever you see like lines like this that are not, that are far apart, that's a more gentle slope. Same with the path down here. These are gentle slopes. 
when you start seeing clumps of them together where they form a, light, a big black mass, don't go there. Those are cliffs. That's just an old cartography trick. Back in the days when they used to make contour lines, this is how you knew what the elevation was. So if you see a bunch of lines together like this, it's a cliff, so just don't go that way. And these contour lines are actually useful because unlike Skyrim and unlike most games I've played, most games don't have contour lines, so it's not really easy to tell what the elevation is. So obviously the problem with this game is that you never know whether this, where these contour lines are determining a... You can't tell if these lines are going up or down, basically. You don't know if you're climbing a mountain or descending or descending down a cliff. But for the purposes of this game, since there's no climbing mechanic like in Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, just accept the fact that if you see a lot of lines, you can't go that way. If you see a, lot, if you see a big clump, you can't go that way. But if you see gentle slopes like this, where the lines are far apart, that's perfectly fine. And what I've been doing is just spot, just scoping out some of these random dots on the map, you know, houses. Uh, not that, that's just a dot on the eye. But if you see little squares like this, these are usually shacks that you can visit. You might, there might be some loot here, you never know. There might be some random events here, you never know. <laughs> I should also mention in passing, I accidentally found some legendary animals around here somewhere. Uh, it was, it was near Cattail Pond, yeah. There's a legendary animal right around here. I killed a legendary uh, ram over here, unfortunately. I can't sell it. Uh, and uh, the game apparently wouldn't despawn it. I dumped it here in the camp somewhere. And the game still thinks my horse is carrying it. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. In fact, I might as well do it now as I'm close enough to the horse. This is my hoss. Captain. Because it's a Morgan. Actually, it's a Morgan. That's the, that's the breed it is. Speed and acceleration is not great. But I can brush it. Probably use a little bit of cleaning. You can also run it through the water. Uh, I don't need to lead it. I guess I'm not going to brush it. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. What? He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. Whatever, don't care. Emerald Ranch on the other side of the map. It'll take me like 10 minutes to get there. Because I don't have fast travel. And the nearest train is like what? The nearest train is in Valentine Station, I want to say. In fact, where is the nearest way station? I should mention this. Because there's no fast travel in this game, we're going to do some of the auto... Uh, some of the auto traversal, just to give you some idea about how the uh, how the game sticks to the roads like this. If you're trying to go to a particular location, you just map it out, let the game map it automatically. But unfortunately, sometimes it's better to just chart your own path, to leave the road and just take these little dotted line routes like this. See, look at this. This is absurd. So if you want to go here. The game wants you to take some really circuitous route, which I guess is okay. Or you could just take a more direct route like this. Right from here, through these dotted line maps, through these dotted lines. So that might be the better way to do it. So sometimes you're better off making your own shortcuts. I don't know how the game marks that, but just keep that in mind. I'm probably going to want to go to Cattail Pond later to see if I can hunt some more stuff. Because there are some, you know, there's some elk here pronghorns I believe definitely some rams and I want to say a few wolves are out here too so it's a pretty nasty place but if you if you're comfortable uh, hunting you can get a lot done here I'll talk about the camping later because that's kind of annoying I'm gonna stay here in the camp for most of this part of the rest stop video I'll create a separate rest stop for the outside of the camp so the first thing I do when I come to this place is park my horse back there and come here to the butcher from here, I usually donate provisions, like the uncooked food I sell here. Because unfortunately, all the food here that I cooked, like this minty plump bird, they can't use it, which makes no sense to me. And I can't even, I cannot sell cooked food to anyone, which I just think is absurd. So, this is this is mainly for me. If I cook food in a camp, I can't sell it here. So I can donate, you know, like bird feathers here. Uh, you can donate these for money, so they'll go to the camp fund at the top right hand corner of the screen You can see the hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty cents. That's for the camp Hundred ninety five dollars and eighty cents. That's in my wallet 
what I want is $500. That's going to be how much money I need to purchase my fast travel. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I can't donate these for provisions. I can only sell these for money, and that's okay. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Are they? No problem. They're also crafting upgrades. They are completely hey, worthless. These are completely cosmetic. Like these campfire things. Completely cosmetic. See? Why would I do that? I have no idea. Everything here is completely cosmetic. Can I make a better satchel at least? Increase carrying capacity. Upgrade offers lodging. Upgrade the camp tables. To what? Like again, what purpose does that serve? Upgrade the chuck wagon. To what? I don't know. It doesn't serve any purpose. But increasing my carry capacity sounds useful. Purchase leather working tools. In order, so in order to do this, I have to purchase leather working tools. I'll tell you what I mean. So you donate here. There's soup over there if you want. So if you just want a little, if you, if you just want free grub, you can do that. Uh, take the stew bowl. Yeah, I'll eat that. That'll fill up all my cores. Press down on the D-pad to uh, see your honor on the bottom of the screen, that little icon with the hat. That's my honor level. I'm, I guess I'm chaotic good at this point. Ah, uh, let's see. My cores, uh, how am I going to explain this? See those, see the heart, a bolt, and an eyeball with the X through it? Those are the icons that need to be filled up. There are also hemicircles around each icon that determines my general level of stamina in each one of these. So I guess the best way to describe it is that heart icon is my health core. There's also that little hemicircle around it that depletes over time. And as it depletes, it also takes away from my core hit points. So for all intents and purposes, the heart that is almost full is my hit points. The lightning bolt that is nearly full is my stamina level. So that determines how fast I can run, things like that. How much I can, how fast I can run while I'm carrying stuff, that kind of thing. Uh, press down again. That that eye with the X through it is my dead eye slow motion ability. I'm not that interested in it because again, I don't like shooting things. Uh, the little lightning bolt with the horse ho horseshoe through it is the stamina of my horse that determines how fast it can run. Obviously, in the co in in cold weather or in hot weather, it becomes a problem. Uh, let's see. The heart with the horseshoe in it is my horse's health. So obviously, if he's in trouble, he'll start taking damage or die. In really cold weather, that becomes a problem. It's only been a problem at the very beginning of the game when the game is blocking your progress. It's gating your progress. Okay, and I just dumped my bowl in the bowl. I've dumped my bowl in the ground because I'm a cowboy. Here, here's where you make provisions. Here's where you donate. You contribute. You can contribute money to the cause. You can give items like this uh, silver clamp buckle right here for a dollar. Donate. You can craft with this. I just don't know what. Platinum engraved buckle. Yeah, whatever. So I throw a hundred. I throw a one dollar item into the kettle. Square button for the ledger. This is where I can buy the upgrades that I really need. For instance, here is the here's everything that I've donated. My name is Arthur. You can see everything that other people have donated. Here's the more important thing. Oh yeah, Pearson's wagon reset. Yeah, I took some money out so that I can uh, so we can keep provisions high. On the top right hand corner of the screen, you see those three yellow icons, the yellow plus sign, the yellow bullet, and the yellow drumstick. When the provisions are in good order, they're yellow. When they're when they're depleted, they're in red. Next page. If you need more uh, medicine, the little yellow plus sign means we don't really need medicine right now. If you want to restock it, we can. Uh, let's see. If you want to add more food, we can restock it here. Uh, the yellow drumstick means our provisions are fine right now. Ammunition and arms. If I want to buy more ammo, we buy. We can restock it here. The provisions are in yellow, where the yellow bullet says our provisions for ammo are fine. We don't have to restock. This is where I have to upgrade my lodge to get fast travel. If I want fast travel, I have to purchase this for $220, and I have to purchase the subsequent upgrade, which is a $325 map that I can place in my, lo that I can place in my lodging area. 
if uh, if you see on the bottom right hand corner of the screen it says this upgrade here the first things first upgrades Dutch's lodging which encourages others to donate to pay for this I can take all the money in my wallet the hundred ninety five dollars and eighty cents in my wallet and grab forty bucks from the kettle from the hundred sixty dollars that's in the camp fund and grab forty of that hundred sixty dollars to place it towards that I'm not gonna do that but that gives you some idea about how much money I need to have on hand to purchase these items. Um, leather working tools, Pearson wants better, so I want to upgrade my carry, if I want to upgrade my satchel, I need to purchase these tools. They're expensive though, so I'm not going to want to do that yet. I want fast travel first, so I'm leaving this. So I give you some idea about what I'm building towards. Let me show you my camp. That fire is not good for anything as far as uh, cooking. I'll show you the cooking fire in a second. Uh, let's see, here's the camping area. I've never shaved. I've, ne I've changed my clothing once, specifically when I, I needed to get my warm weather clothing. Or excuse me, my, my cold weather clothing. Like this outfit right here, I needed this. I lost my hat. Yep, this one is suitable for cold temperatures. So I'm going to want that. This outfit is suitable, so I'm going to equip that. So I'm going to get my hat back. Custom outfits, outfits on the horse. It's already on the horse, so we're fine. So we're fine. It's not gonna be it's not hot enough this time of year. Maybe when we go down to Mexico we will need it, but not yet. Uh, let's see. So here you can sleep. If you inspect the area you can see all this. But again, what I really want here is a map. Which I just don't have. Again, you can sit, but what's the point of sitting? Now, let's see, morning, noon, and night. So I can sleep until morning. I'll do that later. A few other things. What time is it? Press down on the D-pad, and it is 1034. So there are a couple other things I know I can do around here. I can take ammo from this ammo area. That's the horse. Uh, so I parked my horse here. I can't run. I can only walk faster, which is kind of annoying. There's the fire right there. That's the fire I can actually cook stuff. And by the way, I finally lost that ram, so I don't know what happened to that ram. Rest by the campfire by holding down the triangle button. Again, the, this game is very fiddly when it comes to making very minor movements to pick stuff up on the ground or do stuff like this, like getting into position to do stuff like crafting. So here I can take all the uh, raw meat that I've gotten from the animals and cook it, but I can't sell it. So it's only for me to consume while I'm out and about. Show craftable with the triangle button. This is actually useful. Now what can I craft? Right here I can't craft much, but I can do stuff easily. Like this right here, I can take my regular bullets, press the square button, and you can see that I can craft a split point cartridge that does slightly more damage and it decreases my dead eye drain more slowly. All I need is a regular cartridge and I just take out my knife and I cut it. I can make a hundred of these bullets. I can make 112 of these bullets right now. So basically what the game's allowing me to do is just sit by the fire, take these, take some of my bullets and just kind of split them so they become a little bit stronger. I'm going to sit here and mash the X button like this. You can hear that. No big deal. I'm actually not that interested. I don't use revolver cartridges that much anyway. Craft 191 of these. These are for my uh, carbine repeater. So if I'm shooting a bear, or some really big game like a wolf, I'm gonna want this. I don't trust shoot I don't trust the arrows to kill wolves. I can make better arrows uh, in a second. I don't think I have that option yet though. I can make explosive cartridges if you want to take out a human being usually. You know, because you're not gonna skin a human and sell it. You're not gonna skill a human and sell it, let's be honest. Fire bottle, you can use it with Kentucky bourbon and animal fat, but I'm not gonna try and throw it. Again, if you're attacking a gang, you might want that. If you can if you if you pick um, if you pick plants from out in the wild, you can craft horse care items which you can sell for money. Tonics, you can craft like health tonics, things like that. I usually just sell them for money. Health is not a problem for me in this game. The way I'm playing right now, I'm really in a situation where I ever have to replenish my health. And if I do, I just have plenty of meat, so there's no reason for me to worry about it. So I just sell, I can't, remember, I can't sell cooked meat for money right now. I can sell raw meat to butchers. But I can't sell cooked meat to anyone. So that's kind of frustrating. 
And I can, uh, what else can I, what else do I know I can do? That's where I can do chores. So the idea is that if I, if I make tonics there at the fireplace, by the fire, I can't do it there, but I can do it back where I just left. So here you can't craft anything. That's kind of weird. But if you do this stuff by the fire, you'll be able to um, make items that you can sell. So it, it's worth it to harvest some plants because you can usually end up selling the tonics that you can craft for money. And I need a lot of money right now. It's going to take me a while to build up the money I need. Because like I said, I'm going to need $500 to earn my fast travel. So it's going to take me a while to do that. So in the meantime, I'll just play another game. Hey, it's that dude we captured. Talk to them. To Dutch. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak. About your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. Okay, I didn't mean to do this. It's got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williams. I wasn't trying to start this mission, you know. Yeah, I wasn't trying to do that. So we'll do that later. All right. So before we end the so before we end this part of the rest stop video, we'll reload that because I'm definitely gonna want to show you how the horse works. And I'll travel out. I'll go to sleep, and then I'll travel out to an area. I guess I'll do a bit of hunting before I leave. But after I go to sleep, I'll be able to show you all the stuff I can do right outside of my base. Then just sell it. So I guess I'll have to do another rest stop video where I travel. Like I said, the most important thing is making money at this point. Okay, where are the chores? There's some chores around here that need doing. Yeah, there's supposed to be some wood chopping around here. I think yeah, this is right here. I think I already did it. Yes, I already chopped the wood, so I guess we don't need to chop any more wood. Dang wood chucks. Quit chucking my wood. Uh, butcher. Yeah, and, and there's supposed to be some hay I needed to move around. I guess I don't need to do that anymore. Don't remember where it was though. I think it was over by that wagon over there. Yeah. Yeah, I was supposed to be I was supposed to move some of these boxes around, right? I think that was just about restocking provisions. Yeah, I was supposed to move some of those boxes around. Mary Beth? Hey, Arthur. You just hold down L2 to greet people. Maybe I'll find you a pen. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I have I have like turkey feathers. I can make a pen. L1. Okay, we'll just hold down the options, bud. I'm pretty sure I can make one. L1. Or is it just left on the D-pad? Yeah. I thought I could craft. I don't know how to craft one because I have, I have plenty of feathers. I guess she wants a pen, not a quill. So there was supposed to be some, uh... Yeah, there's supposed to be some, uh... Yeah, some bags over here I can grab, and the game won't let me grab them. It's weird. Well, I guess there are provisions I don't need to move around anymore. Oh, well. If there's nothing here in this camp that I really want to do, I'm not going to play, I'm not going to play, you know, cards or anything. That's Uncle Grandpa. We'll talk to him later. What time is it? Wait, what time is it? Eight o'clock. Okay, so we'll do some, we'll do some light hunting. 
Uh, we're gonna. I don't need to feed them. Let's just brush them. You can see the little heart icon there with the horseshoe on it. If you get if he gets dirty, then he loses health and stamina a bit more quickly. So if you brush him, it's okay. I got this brush over at the Valentine Ranch up here, northwest of town, right here. It's the closest major city now that I think about it. Yeah, limpany. I forgot what limpany is. And this is where you go fishing right down here. This is where the sturgeon are. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, this is the only real town around here because Strawberry is a way off. There's a taxidermist over here that I, yeah. The, do the door's never open. Okay, this, this, this isn't loading properly. It'll load eventually because there are butchers here and all the other good stuff. I don't think I've been here before. Yeah, the Apple Tea Timber Company. I might be able, there might be a whistle stop here. There's also a, a hand a hand cart, so you can pump it to ride the train tracks, but it's kind of worthless, frankly. If I could use that more reliably, I wouldn't have to take a train, but you know how it is. <laughs> and of course, we don't have an actual train station. The nearest train station is here at Flatneck. Uh, these things right here are, are people we're trying to capture. There are, yep, there are bounties we can do. I'll do those later. I don't even, I don't even care that much. Like I, said, I don't care that much about combat in this game. So I'm not trying to solve any of those missions. So I guess uh, Wallace Station, I guess uh, Valentine Station and Flat Deck Station are the closest railroad tracks. You might as well, I mean, there's no reason to go to Flat Deck Station, really. Because, I mean, there's a post office here, but there's no real, there's no, you can't really sell anything there. Uh, this is off limits. Heartland, as soon as you walk up to Heartland Oil Fields, they shoot you. So just don't. Uh, what else am I thinking of here? Well, again, before I end the video, I'm going to want to do a little bit of light hunting around town. And then I'll go to sleep when it gets dark. We can, we can grab some uh, flowers and plants here to make some tonics, like I said. Uh, let's see. Let's remove that marker. And I've already explored this area. Whoops. Got to get rid of those now. <laughs> so I guess I just need to explore a couple more areas right around here. I can't believe I haven't found any dinosaur bones yet. So I might just explore just for funsies. Like I said, if you see all these all these uh, dead areas of the map, that's because I took a train to get to the other side of the map, so I wasn't able to explore all these other areas. I might end up exploring it later, because I accidentally found all this other crap around here. Yep, there's a butcher around here in roads. Dusty roads. So eventually I'm going to have to investigate this area here, figure out how to, figure out how to get to St. Denis from here. Because I know there's a bridge I can take on foot, I just got to be. Like I said, that's going to be my excuse to earn fast travel while uh, exploring the rest of this map. And my PlayStation 4 is whirring like a, it's whirring like an engine. It's like a jet engine. Yeah, this base PlayStation 4 really gets a workout, and all I'm doing is just looking at the map. I don't know what's going on. Good evening, Arthur. Horse cargo. Hold down right on the D-pad. Again, I used to have a legendary ram carcass here. No one wanted to buy it. It was worth 28 bucks. I don't know what to tell you. All the value seems to be $5. I don't know what's going on there. So let's hop to it. Again, this is the best horse I have. If we take this down to a stable, we can replace her. I found three male, there are three male horses that I've stabled and one female horse, which I found in the wild. So I was able to tame her pretty quickly, actually. Like I said, I was able to carry more cargo that way, which is great. Okay, it's almost 8.30, so the sun will be down very shortly. There's a train in the distance. This game is very good as far as, like, minor details. There's another dude on a horse. Press, left, press the left and right sticks at the same time to do eagle eye, because, you know, realism. And from here, you can see uh, you can see living things like uh, stuff you can pick up, like you know treasure chests you can open or horses. We're not gonna rob anybody, obviously. But we're gonna try and look for uh, squirrels, varmints, you know, and maybe a few white-tailed deer around here. No big gamer here. No bears. No bucks or elks. You might see a bison if you're lucky, I guess. Not here, though. Maybe a few miles away from here. You can shoot those birds if you're really good. 
uh, hold down L1 for the weapon wheel, pick a saddle, L2 and R2 to switch to another weapon because you want to equip either your carbine repeater, or in my case I want a bow so I can shoot these animals as I see them. I thought I saw a bird pop out here. Yeah, he ran away. I'm not going to get too bent out of shape over big animals. I'm just going to try and grab a few and take them back to base to get to see me sell a few things. Again, nothing really important. Let's just see what's nearby and then hop back to town. We might see a few deer around here. They're pretty reliable. Whoop, varmint. Got him! That's a wild turkey. Got him. So we're going to track him. So you can see on the map, you can see where the carcass is. That's very helpful, actually. So I'm glad they added that. Gotcha. Might need a small game arrow, actually. I haven't. I don't think I made any additional ones. Hold down L1. I press left or right on the D-pad to switch between the different kinds of ammo for the weapon you have equipped. Unfortunately, I don't have any small game arrows. I can't craft any right now. I don't think I have enough feathers. That's part of the reason why I'm here. I'm able to craft some more items, craft better arrows. So if I'm ready to, if I want to harvest a bunch of game, I can do that. Whoops, I can't pick up stuff. I don't know if the quality of the game gets ruined if I run over it with my horse. We'll find out. Pick up the turkey. Now the trick, unfortunately, is like I can press, I can hold down the circle button to cook it, but I'm not going to cook it because, like I said, I can't sell, I can't sell cooked game meat. But I can donate it for provisions back at the camp. I can also sell it to butchers for money, which is fine. I'm not going to skin the okay, I'm not going to skin the turkey yet because I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to eat. I'm going to want to wear myself down and eat anything that's in my satchel because if I run out of room in my satchel, the game won't let me harvest any more animal parts. I can eat one of these. That blackberry though. That's kind of bears. Uh, satchel. Chocolate bar. Yes, yeah, this I sell bourbon. Anything that only improves my dead eye meter, I just sell because I like I said I don't use it that much. I don't care that much. Slightly restores health core. I stole that from a camp. I think I stole it from a rat. Can't use this. Yeah, I can't really use this. We'll get to that later. Not in this video, obviously. So let me give me my let me get my bugs. I'm gonna want that. Gonna tap on the X button. Uh, the traversal is kind of finicky as far as I haven't reliably I haven't found a reliable way to figure out how to get the horse to go faster. So it just sort of is what it is. I'm not wild about it. Nope, no more animals. So I'll just swing back around here and pick up this one, this carcass. I was hoping I'd see a deer around here. There's another bird in the distance, but sometimes you get lucky and a bunch of varmints spawn. Like right there, there's another wild turkey, I think. Get rid of that. Hold on, I got him. Ha! Tallyhawk. Uh, yeah, another bird. So I'll grab that in a second. Didn't even need to use my gun. You all right, boy? Yeah. Uh, press the left stick to calm your horse down and increase your bonds. But I already have full bond. I already have a full bond with this horse. Is there another? Uh... Oh, hold on. We got a deer over there. I'll park the horse over here. Let me get the deer, because the deer is more important. Okay, I'll sneak up on him while I grab this crap. Or I can just grab it later, is kind of why I know it's here. Thankfully, your dreadfully realistic a detective vision lets you see what uh, spices you can harvest. Like this oregano right here, which I can use to make higher quality meats. Not for selling, but it, spiced meat is more like improves your uh, replenishes your meter more than just unseasoned meat, which I find amusing. So regular meat refills most of your health meter. 
Uh, spiced meat increases your health meter a little bit more. Wrong gun. I want my, uh, yeah, I want that. I want my bow. That's a horse. I don't want the horse. But I might be able to press R01. I might be able to calm it down. Here's a, well, there's a rabbit over there. Yeah, he ran away. I can get this thing from horseback. I'm not going to worry about it yet. Black squirrel, the best kind of squirrel. Show info. Use a bow for a clean kill. I can't reach that from there. I don't see the squirrel. That's a horse. Put it away. See, the horse is out in the rain. It shouldn't be getting dirty. What kind of horse is it? It's a Morgan. Not particularly a good one. See if we can calm it down. Don't move too fast. It's calm-ish. Put the bow away. So these aren't... So these aren't... L1. Calm. Calm down. Yeah, I spooked it. I'm not gonna get bent out of shape with another horse. I don't need another horse, especially a mediocre one. Sour grapes, I know, but whatever. Here, let's, just, let's grab some more of this oregano. Thunderstorm. Maybe the thunderstorm scared it off. Might be a new kind of plant. Ginseng, yep, I can uh, craft uh, some pretty high quality, um, what do you call it? Some pretty high quality, uh, ooh, a wild carrot. These are more for feeding the horses than feeding humans. But the ginseng is for crafting like tonics and such, which you can use to sell for not an insignificant amount of money. So again, for a rest stop video, I'm just kind of going over these minor things I found out along the way. Is that another horse, or is that my horse? Yeah, it's my horse. Let's grab some more of this ginseng. Oh, you can also uh, hold down, hold up on the D-pad to get your horse to follow you. You can summon your horse. It takes a while. Sometimes he takes the wrong path, but he's generally cooperative. And again, when you when you break another horse, he sometimes uh, follows you. And if you get on a stagecoach, or if you get on a train, the horse will follow you, which I think is kind of hilarious. I rode a train from here all the way to St. Denis on the far southeastern portion of the map, and he followed me with all of my loot to the location. And dude, you do not want to be there. Get off of that. You're humping the, <laughs> you're humping the rock. <laughs> not that kind of rock star game. And the horses do defecate, fair warning, because you know realism. See this realistic uh, system I got here? Of course, unlike Death Stranding, uh, Arthur Morgan does not uh, use the restroom. Pick up the hawk. Now let's plug this bad boy. Let's just dump it right here. You can only hold one animal on each side of your horse. And you can also hold several pelts underneath your saddle. I want to say at least four or five. And you can and you can store one heavy item, like a carcass or a large elk pelt on the back of your horse and you can put it on top of your pelts. So you can harvest quite a bit. What time is it? Okay, it's two in the morning. I'm gonna have to go to sleep at some point. Uh, some birds in the distance. Actually, it might be someone useful. New weapon, need my horse. Yeah, I need my uh, bow here. Are those sheep? They're wild turkeys. I don't know if I can shoot him from here. I can get one of them at least. Got him. Those rascals are fast. Okay, I missed. Yeah, I missed. I was way off on that one. I don't know why I was trying to hit that one. And and uh, Captain Morgan is following me. I called the horse Captain because it's it's a Morgan. I forget I need an amusing name. So let's skin it. 
Actually, I should probably should have eaten it before I skinned it. I probably should have eaten it first before I skinned it. See, I'm gonna collect the parts. So I got uh, some game. So I got some plump bird meat, some raw bird meat, and a turkey feather. And I guess I can stick this here. Watch what I do here. Horse cargo. The only way to know how good your carcass is is to go to the horse cargo. There is no way to know if the carcass is any good until you put it on your horse. It makes, don't ask me why, I have no idea why it does that. I don't know how valuable these carcasses are because this value seems to be glitching out. Ignore that value you see on the bottom of the screen, it's worthless. Completely worthless. But I already have good, uh, let's see if this, is this wild turkey better than the one that's already on here? We'll find out. I'm gonna put this new wild turkey on here and see what happens. They're both good, but one's already been skinned. So let's uh, let's get this horse out of the way. Yep, yep. Again, this game is so fiddly that I have to get the horse to move out of the way so I can grab the carcass and skin it. Okay. So here we go. Watch this. Pick it up. We're gonna gut it. And stuff, there is a deterioration system in this game. If you leave your carcasses on the horse too long, it'll rot and fall off and lose all of its value. <laughs> so I got some more plump bird meat and two more turkey feathers. So um, what I really need is big game. Which I'm not sure I can find this time of evening. Let's see what's over there in the distance. I can get my weapon out. Now put that away. I held down F, I hold down left on the D pad. That was completely worthless. Get my bow out. Track. These are wild turkeys. Trust me, I don't need any more wild turkeys. Yeah, I really don't need any more wild turkeys. What's that? It's another wild turkey. Oh well. These things fly, by the way. I shot one as it was trying to jump off a cliff and slow it fly away. <laughs> no good, son. They yeah, don't fall off this cliff. There's a, there's a house over there in the distance. We're not going to worry about it. So no plants to gather? A few other varmints are skittering around. Camp's in the other direction, by the way. So let's go this way. So let's just sell this meat. We're, not gonna, we're just going to sell it back to the camp. You know, it won't go to waste. I kind of did want the money, but I'll pick up some more money on my way to Valentine. I don't like carrying a bunch of loot because, again, it just deteriorates over time. You. See? Got the jackrabbit from the horse. That is now six jackrabbits killed on horseback. Uh, let's pick it up and skin it. Hey, hey, hey! Get off him! He's, this dude's getting shot. Drop it. This dude's getting shot. Bastard. These guys, these guys are really aggressive. They do not mess with you. They do not play. More game meat, though. More skin in that. Which is more valuable, the rabbit or the coon? I want to say the turkey's not that valuable, quite frankly. Yeah, just dump it in your satchel. You never clean that out, by the way. It's poor raccoon pelt. So that means that's a poor raccoon carcass down there. But it'll be used for provisions, obviously. You know, game meat. Do I stow this? Yeah, this is stowable. So you can't put it on the trunk, which is kind of unfortunate. This is only good for provisions. Dump it. Give me that rabbit meat. It's going to be more valuable, I think. I want to see the black-tailed rabbit's more valuable as far as money. Give me that skin. So once I skin it, I'll know if it's good quality meat or good quality pelt and good quality meat. That is poor rabbit pelt, so it's probably not even worth carrying. I guess I can, yeah, I guess I can sell that for a 
That might be better than the turkey, actually, as far as the carcass is concerned. So I'll get rid of the turkey and replace it with this. Because that's my logic. I can't, I can't remember. I can't put this in the trunk. I have to I have to clip it to the side of the saddle. So the only thing I can put on the trunk is big game. Big pelts, like for like bears and such. Or big elk pelts. But you can't carry uh, bear carcasses. You can't carry uh, elk. You can't carry elk carcasses, but you can skin them. You can't carry boar, but you can skin them. That kind of thing. Uh, let me get my arrow out just in case. You're going back to base. See any more varmints? You know, one might have skeeted off a while ago. No big game, unfortunately. I guess we can always come back and pick up that uh, game that I left behind. Yeah, we'll just do that. So I'll show you what I do. I just park the horse, and as long as it's on my horse, it's on the saddle, and I can sell it to the butcher. Or in this case, I sell it for funds. And it's over here. Yep. So I guess our provisions are, are not in the yellow anymore, so I guess we're good. Everything else is in the yellow, though. That's okay. Hitch the horse. Hold down the triangle, bud. It takes a while. The animation on the hitching is kind of annoyingly slow. We'll do this. We'll uh, go to sleep. I'll show you what I'm doing. It's almost 5 in the morning anyway. But the butcher shop is always open here in Pearson's camp. Again, I can't run, and that's very disappointing. Howdy. Bill. Got more game for you. Game and grub. Haven't received anything from you in a while. Poor rabbit carcass, that's for provisions. Good heart carcass, that's for provisions. Sparrow feather will be crafted. Plump bird meat will be donated for provisions. So our provisions are in the yellow now instead of in the gray. Poor raccoon kelt, raccoon pelt for the for the donation box. Stringy meat for provisions. Poor rabbit pelt for funds. I guess I can sell a couple of these. I can make better arrows with these. These are for funds. I'm going to need way more money than this. Sparrow feather. Don't know where I got the sparrow from. Game meat for provisions. But again, like I said, I can't donate any of these provisions, which makes no sense to me. This time big game that I told you about, I cooked this with some spices so it fully restored all my cores instead of like the regular. The plain game restores them a lot. The time big game completely restores them and it gives you a gold dead eye for the rest of the day. Which I don't care about, quite frankly. I wish I could have sold that. But that's, how, that's how the game works. So that's unfortunate. So I can throw some stuff in the ledger, I guess. So you can see what I've donated. I donated a bunch of stuff to the camp anyway so they can make money like these turkey feathers. So let me go to the fire before I go to bed. I'll craft some stuff. I might not even need to go to sleep, quite frankly. So, uh, the fire is over here by the horses, I think. I'm not going to shoot the chicken. We don't gather eggs in this game. This isn't Skyrim. Now the Houston's losing by 11 now. That third quarter's killed them. They also recorded the, um, the Pelicans game today where they scored 80 points in the first half, dog, and they still lost. Of course, they gave up 74 to the Clippers. But yeah, 80, 80 points. I don't think I've ever seen 80 points in the first half. Actually, no. I saw a Mavericks game when uh, Jason Kidd was playing for them. And he had like 20 assists in the first half. I think that was a record or something. And they scored 81 points in the first half because they he got an assist that led to a three-pointer from half court. <laughs> so that's how the, that's how the uh, old Mavs and the Dirk Nowitzki day scored 81 points. So I'm going to make this potent, hor potent horse medicine from the ginseng and the bull and the potent bull, bull rush that I found outside. And we'll use it to craft a two or three dollar tonic, which I can sell back in town. Because I can't sell it here. There's no general store here, obviously. And I can't make anything else here other than you know, split. Actually, I can't make ammo here? Just a second. I can't make those... Um, you know, why can't I make those uh, arrows? The improved arrows require a flight feather, so turkey feathers don't count. Shotgun shells. 
I have plenty of those, but I can't. But I don't have any flight feathers. So basically, I can't use turkey feathers to make better arrows. What can I use these turkey feathers for other than selling? Well, now I know. So whose horse is this? This this is my second horse. Yeah, this is the first horse I owned. I thought Does this belong to somebody else. You're okay. Probably does. I don't want this horse. I mean, if I did use it, I guess I can. Can I tell it to follow me? You're okay, boy. Well, not yet. Am I? Our bonding level hasn't gone up enough. Because I'm very curious if I can bring this horse with me while I ride with my other one. Good boy. I can probably saddle him. Eventually. I'm not gonna worry about that. I already did a video where I broke a horse that was out in the wild. Can I grab the saddle? Nope, can't grab the saddle. So I'll finish up the video by uh, heading out to town. Time to go, boy. Let's go. Uh, where are we headed? Oh yeah, I forgot to go to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Hits the horse. We're going to sleep. So that'll be the end of uh, that'll be the resting point of our first rest stop video. We'll do maybe one more. We'll do one more at least, maybe two. We'll see how it goes. Probably just to. So I'll get to ramble and rant while we uh, try to get to our next destination as slowly as possible. We'll mosey over to our next destination. So we'll sleep till noon. Why not? All of our cores will be full. And I guess we might get a refresh and everything. I don't know. I still haven't taken a bath ever. I mean, I've walked through the river a couple of times. Does that count? I suppose not. Too bad, really. Sad, really. All my cores are in good order, right? Shave. Actually, let me see what shaving does on here. Cause I think I've never shaved before. Yeah, I can uh, give my, I can grease my hair back. Go for the full Jeff Daniels look. Shin and chops. Yeah. So all you uh. Fan, all you Abby Russell fans from Giant Bum can get uh, get our boy here some mutton chops. All facial hair. Again, what is the point of doing this? I have no idea. <laughs> it go full Abe Lincoln. The rail splitter. We're not gonna we're not gonna bother. Okay, uh, hmm. How are cores doing? All cores are full and accounted for. So I guess we're ready to leave. What you reading? Now, since well, hold on, we got a couple of chores here I can do. Give me a second. Camp provisions are... All camp uh, provisions and ammo are low. Can I grab any of these? Of course we do. No. Yeah, keep out your fan fiction, ladies. What is it about this nonsense? I don't know. It makes need you need it for camp guards. Okay, so I can't grab this. So oh, bucket. What's the bucket for? Oh, and this one's particularly, and particularly idiotic. About a Scottish lord. Top of water in the wash bin. Where's the wash bin? Oh, it's over there. So how do I bathe is the question. I guess I could bathe here for the first time ever. So let's follow the X in the mini map. <laughs> I think there are a couple of them. Yeah, it's right over here. Behind the soup. What's up, Kieran? I ain't cleaned myself in weeks. Pour out. It's just another chore I can do to increase my uh see my honor down there at the bottom? I'm increasing my honor. See? That's what increases my dead eye, never mind. Please. So what purpose of that, sir? Sup, son. Oh, hello, Archie. Abigail. Strauss. Strauss. Lone shark. Here we go. This is where you this is where you chop wood. I think I just cut five of these, 
and I increase my honor level, I think. I thought Strauss was, is that Strauss back there above my head? Anyway, it's a nice view, so we can take a look at this view behind me. It's very nice. While we're chopping wood, we can rotate the camera and take in this view. Like I said,